plan on uh, pursuing a civil suit, yes. Uh, it is a, a, a bittersweet irony what happened here today. Uh, my restaurant was shut unadjudicated. I was uh, deemed uh, guilty without going to a court of law. They shut a man's business down of 20 years, uh, two families that depended on that, 30 people that were employed by it, the millions of, of dollars in taxes that I collected every year because I did what? Because I chose to accept all and to extend my love to all the fine people of Calgary. A travesty uh, of justice is what, what, this, what, what occurred. Really, truly a shame, a grotesque perversion of hospitality. Uh, and I hope, I hope and pray that uh, my brothers and the sisters in the restaurant industry will stand up in the future uh, and refuse to discriminate any of their customers for any reason whatsoever. Uh, it was truly a, a, a shame what happened to the hospitality industry. Has it been a difficult two years for you? It's mo mo the most in, uh, difficult uh, experience of my life. Uh, these bastards, they literally tried to break me. They tried to break me financially, they tried to break me mentally, and they tried to break me spiritually, uh, and they almost came close. Uh, if it wasn't for the good people that joined me here today, the many who uh, I fought with on the streets of Calgary, in the prairies at Coots, uh, in Winnipeg, all across Canada, the millions who rose up to defend our rights and freedoms in this great, great land, uh, we need to uh, pray to Jesus Christ to offer us forgiveness uh, and uh, to give us the light to fight further into the future. What is your message to people who are still fighting against, against these charges, against the government? The government is still going after them. Never give up hope. Never give up hope. Uh, and uh, believe in yourself. Uh, one thing I've learned across this journey is that uh, the power of the human spirit is indomitable. And if there's a mountain in front of me, that mountain shall move.